Hey twins, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot and this is your Twin Flame Love Reading. I have some tarot and some oracle cards here I'm going to pull for you guys. If this is your reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these Twin Flame readings. So if you are dealing with your twin, great. Um, this is the place for you. I'm going to channel the twin flame messages, okay? So let's start off um, with the sacred signs and symbols. This is one of my decks. It's on my Etsy shop. Although it is currently out of stock, it will be available very, very soon, okay? So let's jump right in. Let's see what's going on with the twins out there. Um, we have the suitcase energy, burdens, baggage, escapism. So you're dealing with someone here who escaped the connection, right? They tried to find their way out. This is someone who may have felt burdened um, in expressing their feelings, emotional burdens, baggage. I feel like someone here um, ran away because it got too heavy. It got too difficult. It was something here that they were uncomfortable with, okay? So this is someone who may have ran out of town, who may have abandoned the connection on a moment's notice. It could have happened very abruptly and we have um baggage so some of you guys your person came to you with baggage right when they fell in love with you they also had baggage from past connections past life connections and so that is what they brought into this connection okay so there could have been a lot that was weighing heavily on their heart i feel like this is someone who didn't know what to do and so what do they do they run away so that escapism is someone running away feeling like you know what it's too difficult i can't do this i'm not cut out for it Commitment, it just isn't for me, okay? Some of you guys, they never saw, like, married people actually be successful. And anyone that got married in their family, I'm getting, like, got a divorce or was separated. So they never looked at commitment and marriage as being a good thing. So we have the smoke grenade. This is someone who sabotaged a really good thing. We have an explosion. And there was a lot of smoke here. So a lot of you guys, you felt blindsided. You did not see this coming. I'm getting there was smoke everywhere. There was a lot of drama. There was a lot of confusion. And it happened on a moment's notice, okay? So I do feel with the sabotage energy, this is kind of like a tower moment. Something happened very, very quickly, very abruptly, unexpectedly. And something came crashing down in this relationship, okay? So something here, I'm getting like... The, the connection was not the same after that, okay? Whatever this tower is representing in your connection, this could be a secret. It could have been a secret coming to light. It could have been a betrayal. It could have been a cheating, you finding out something. Whatever happened, I'm getting something got shooken up, okay? And the connection was never the same after that. We have the scissor energy, cutting out, severing ties. This is kind of like the three of swords for me. Someone had to cut the other person out. Now, some of you guys, you decided to cut this person out of your life. You felt they were no good for you. You felt they were toxic. You felt that you had to remove this person from your life because you may have felt that they were weighing you down. You may have felt the baggage or you may have felt like a sense of responsibility to be with them, but you also felt like they were weighing you down to a point you couldn't be your happy self, right? You were doing more for this person than you were doing for yourself. It's like you gave, 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 and you got nothing in return. So a lot of you guys, you were left empty inside. You were, empty, you were left feeling incomplete, left feeling taken advantage of. And so we do have a scissor energy. A lot of you guys, you had to cut ties with your person because there was no other way to go about this. You had to free yourself. Some of you guys, you had to cut the tie. I'm getting... Um, I'm getting like a soul bondage. You felt so tied to this person, but it was almost like you were so unhappy. And so in order to get your happiness back, you had to break away. And so some of you guys, you broke away. You are in the act of cutting ties, right? Maybe you guys are doing some candle work, candle magic, and cutting ties with your person so that you can live a more fruitful, abundant life. We have the dark black shades energy. So someone here is watching you, okay? So we do have an energy of watching, lurking, spying. This person definitely still has their eye on you. They're acting very um, discreet, incognito. They don't want you to know that, that they're watching you. They don't want you to know that they still care about you. They're still thinking about you, right? Even though you guys are physically, emotionally distant, energetically, your person still feels you. And I feel like they like to look at you. I'm getting they're very still attracted to you, okay? They want to know what's going on. They want to know if you moved on. Are you dating other people? Have you really forgotten about me, right? These are some of the things they're asking about you. 
they're wondering about you. Um, let's see, any of the messages? We have the clouds. Um, fog, haze, confusion. So your person, I'm getting, they were lost in the clouds, right? They didn't know what they wanted. And so that's what that confusion was. That's why the smoke grenade is here. Because when there's clouds, this this is clouded judgment, right? Someone here whose intuition was blocked. Okay, they, they don't see straight. They're not seeing clearly. And so they make a lot of bad decisions. And so this this was someone here who was walking in this big foggy haze of confusion. They didn't know what they wanted. You didn't know what they wanted from you. And so there, there is a directionless relationship. It's like, what is our goal? What is the end goal? What are we trying to do here? What are we trying to accomplish, right? And so a lot of you guys, you got sick of that fog haze and confusion, you got sick of it. And so some of you guys, you had to cut ties because you couldn't keep doing this. You couldn't keep going about this um, in this foggy, hazy confusion. It just what there was just no way. Okay. So a lot of you guys, you decided to pull back because you were no longer gonna be just floating in the clouds with this person. Mm -mm. We have the flashlight, clarity, discovery, investigation. Some of you guys, this person did not tell you like the honest truth about something. There's something that you may have asked this person about and they denied it and you had to go investigate. You had to go around asking people, checking their account, their social media, their email. You had to find something out. Page of Swords, you had to do some investigating, spying and trying to gather more information because there was something this person hid from you. And I really feel strongly with this incognito energy, mm -hmm, this person had a lot they were hiding. Right. And when you ask them about it, they made you feel as if you were stupid, as if like, you know, where are you getting this from? Where did this come from? You, you know, and so, no, they made you feel as if you were just making things up. But you guys, there may have been something that came out and you may have not known all the answers. When you went to this person, I feel like this person tried to run away. They tried to escape the truth. They tried to escape telling you the truth. And so they could have ran away and. You had to discover something yourself. You had to do the investigating. You had to find out something for yourself. So some of you guys, that flashlight is you, right? Trying to look for answers, trying to find out what's, what's true, what's a lie, what's real, what's not, right? All right, let's get some more messages for my twins. We have bad influences. It says unsupportive family and friends, drugs, alcohol, bad habits. So your person had a lot of negative, toxic people around them, bad influences. I'm getting like bad friends, friends who didn't like, who didn't want to see you guys together, who may have not been um, a good influence on them, right? May have allowed them to just do things that weren't good for them. I'm getting like reckless activity, things that, I mean, that did not support this relationship. So it could have been a lot of negative influences around them that encouraged them to go down a different path that was not for their own divine good, right? So they also got could have gotten, um, I'm getting caught up, not just with the wrong people, but with drugs, alcohol that impaired their judgment, okay? I'm getting a lot of bad habits, a lot of bad, um, bad behavior, okay? Bad behavior for sure. And this person, I'm getting that they just didn't respect you. They did whatever the hell they want. They didn't think about how it was going to make you feel, right? Coming home late, out partying all night. I mean, they didn't think about you, how it was going to make you feel at the end of the day. We have telepathy. A lot of you guys, you are telepathically connected to your person. You guys are still connected in that um the 5D realm. So there's like dreaming about each other. You guys are communicating telepathically. You have that incredible connection with them, okay? That's what I'm saying. We have the manipulation energy, controlling, toxic. Some of you guys, you found this person to be very manipulative, okay? I'm also feeling like they may have manipulated you because they knew how much you cared for them. They knew how much you loved them and you would do anything for them. And so they manipulated you. They tried to get away and do things or um, they made you think a certain way. Okay, and they've tried to manipulate you, try to get their own way. Okay, so a lot of toxic energy here. That's why some of you guys, you had to cut ties with this person because there was no way. There was no way. It was like, mm -mm, I had to let this go. There was no way in saving this person because they didn't want to save themselves. And I feel like this toxic energy, mm -mm, this person had to learn the hard way. I feel a lot of you guys, you had to free yourself from this person so that they can experience um, 
what they were creating, the, the chaos, the drama. And this is person, this person did not know, uh, they were oblivious to how their actions were toxic. Okay, they were oblivious to the hurt that they caused you. So this is also someone that was controlling. It's like they could do whatever the hell they want, but they wouldn't allow you to do the same thing. I'm getting some of you guys, they were very, I'm getting double standard, okay? We have clingy, holding on, won't let go. Some of you guys, they felt you were clingy. I'm just putting it out there. They felt that you were very clingy, you were needy, especially if you were trying to find out information about them. They felt like you were just it's overstepping, okay? I'm getting overstepping boundaries with them, right? You were trying to find out information from their friends and stuff like that. They also felt that you were just like, you always wanted them. You always wanted their attention. This is someone that may have been very detached or um, disconnected, not very emotionally available or attended to your needs. And so they felt you was very clingy. Some of you guys, you may have been like, maybe you're a water sign. Maybe you wanted more love. Maybe you, you really like to express your feelings through your actions. And so they felt that you were clingy, like you were holding on to them too tightly. We had the redemption, needing forgiveness, redeem oneself. So now there's the energy of a person realizing that, you know what, I was wrong. You know, I may have made you feel the need to cling on to me because, you know, I just, I did things behind your back. You didn't know what was going on. This person made you feel insecure. That's what I'm feeling. It's not that you were really like trying to cling on to them. It was just like you didn't get the attention that you needed. You felt as if they were giving all their love to other people. And so now we have the, your person realizing that, yeah, I was wrong for that. So there's an the energy of wanting to be forgiven, okay? Especially if they were being very mysterious, acting all incognito, hiding things from you, right? Sabotaging a good thing. They, they're trying to redeem themselves. They may be trying to find a way on how they could redeem themselves right now. Rejection came out. We have new love. Some of you guys, they feel rejected by you, especially if you are moving on, you're dating other people. Some of you guys, you have a new lover or you have someone that is excited to get to know you. There's someone coming in for you, okay? Some of you guys, you have someone that you're newly dating and they know it, okay? They're acting, they're playing off like they don't care. This is someone who feels like um, they, they don't want to express how they feel because ultimately you're going to know that they still care for you, right? So this is someone who's playing off right now that they don't care that you have new, a new lover. You may be dating someone, okay? Um, they do feel rejected by you, but I feel this is what they did to you, right? Talk to the hand, right? So you may have felt rejected. You felt abandoned by this person. And so now they're feeling rejected because a lot of you guys, you're moving on. You actually have the courage the willpower to move on because you want love. A lot of you guys are saying, well, if this person isn't ready, I'm not going to put my whole life on hold. I'm not going to waste another five or six years waiting for this person. So you guys are opening up the doors to new love and that's okay. But your person may not like it just for you guys. Um, just so you know, your person may not like that at all. Okay. All right. Let's see what other messages we have for my twins out there. Messages for my twins. And we're going to clarify with the tarot here. We have resistance. Okay. A lot of resistance. A lot of pushing. I'm getting pushing and pulling. Like it didn't have to be this way. Why do your person have to make things so complicated? It's like if you love me, then act like it. Show it. That's all you got to do, right? But this person just made it so difficult. You question if the love was real. You question if this was really like your soulmate. Some of you guys, you felt like this person just pushed you away and just made things just, um, it was like a challenge, it was just like you were constantly trying to prove yourself. You were constantly trying to fix and repair the connection. It was just like a lot of resistance, okay? So we also have realization. There's something your person is realizing, okay? We have like a keyhole. So I feel like this is something here about your person's heart opening up. They recognize and realize that you are the key to their heart. I don't feel like this person ever told you that, but they could be realizing that behind the scenes, realizing and and coming to realize that you were the only person they ever loved. I feel like this person was always closed off to love, but they actually fell in love with you. But as soon as they did, they ran away because they thought it was a bad thing. They thought it was a bad thing to fall in love. It would make them feel out of control. It would make them feel too clingy. Some of you guys, they didn't want to feel that energy of being um, tied to someone. 
feeling like they're they're dependent on someone because they may have grew up never depending on anybody for anything. They could have had parents who was very like distant or not very loving. They didn't really show their their love. Okay? And so they never really had that strong emotional connection to someone. And so that made them feel uncomfortable. When they fell in love with you, they they felt uncomfortable and they pushed back and they resisted. We have the action energy. Your person is wanting to take action, wanting movement, wanting change, okay? So they're realizing that they do want this. They do want love. They do want to experience love. And they know that they have to take action if that's what they want. They need to stop resisting, stop pulling away, and just give in, right? Just give in. Stop being a coward. What's this? The darkness energy. So your person feels left out in the dark going along with this rejection energy. They feel abandoned. They feel left out in the cold, right? They're like confused. Like, what do I do now? I messed up a good thing. I don't know how to get back into my twin's life. I feel like I screwed things up. Okay, so we're going to clarify with the tarot and get some more messages. If this is y'all reading, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. So I'm going to start off with the suitcase. Why did the hell this person ran away? Some of you guys, they skipped town, okay? They completely, I'm getting a move, an actual move. They couldn't move across country or move to a new city without telling you. You had no idea, okay? This is someone who may have moved to put an end to this situation. The Ten of Swords in verse with the death. And I feel a lot of you guys is telling me that they could have moved away from this connection because they don't want to deal with it. They don't want to be reminded of you. Some of you guys, they move, they change jobs because they don't want to see you at the job every day, the morning meetings, okay? <laughs> they didn't want to be reminded of what they put you through. Um, the Ten of Swords and Verbs, this is their way of healing, of recovering from a really difficult ending that left them um, devastated as well. So this Ten of Swords is what your person is feeling as well. So they're definitely... They suffered as well from some kind of ending. Could be a Scorpio here. But they ran away. They literally packed up, ran away with this luggage suitcase energy because they didn't want to have to deal with the aftermath of this connection. So what is this sabotage about? This smoke grenade sabotage. Why is the sabotage smoke grenade card here? So this person sabotaged a good thing because they ultimately were not ready. You know, the seven of wands inverse with the knight of pentacles inverse. This is someone who was very, very guarded, closed off. They were just fighting you just for the hell of it. They were fighting you because they just were not ready for someone to be there for them. Right? They didn't, they didn't realize that there are actually good people out there who want to see them do good. Right. And so you are really genuine. You love this person and they denied it. They, they told themselves, oh, it can't be love. Oh, it can't be love. So what do they do? They stop showing up. They stop offering their love. Right. They came in and they left out. They didn't offer you any type of stability. They were very inconsistent and they pushed you away. That resistant energy, this, that seven of wands is pushing you away, fighting you every chance they can get. Coming up with um, crazy reasons why they can't see you, right? Canceling your plans on a moment's notice. Now, why is this scissor energy? Someone got cut out. Eight of cups and the eight of swords. Yeah. You guys had to cut this person out. A lot of you guys, you walked away, eight of cups. You walked away because you weren't getting your needs met. You weren't happy. Eight of cups is walking away to get to your ten cups. You guys wanted to be happy. You wanted fulfillment. You wanted family, home, love. And you were in this energy, the eight of swords, tired of being stuck in your head, anxiety, worry, stress. Why is this person acting like that? Why do they act like they don't care about me? Why do they hurt me? Why do they say these mean things? You were tired of living in that energy. And so a lot of you guys, you had to walk away. Tell me more about this incognito black shade, dark black shades energy, dark black shades. What is this about? Three of wands and verse into two swords. Your person is acting as if they moved on. Mm -hmm. They're acting as if, oh, that sh situation is done. That ship has sailed. I'm over it. I'm not waiting on them no more. But they're lying to themselves because they're literally sitting over here with these black shades on, acting like they ain't looking at you right now. The two of swords, this person is just in this energy of feeling stuck, tied. Trying to make a decision, trying to come toward you, which is telling us that they're still thinking about you. 
They just don't know what to do. The two swords are literally in their head right now, trying to make a decision. Do I go left? Do I go right? Do I move forward? Do I go back? Do I do it now? Do I do it later? So they're definitely acting incognito, acting like they don't care, but they are definitely very much do care. Now, what is all this? these clouds about? Fog, haze, confusion... Six of Wands, Eight of Wands. A lot of you guys, you were confused what this person really wanted. You were confused because this person gave a lot of attention to other people. I'm getting interference, okay? I'm getting a third parties, romantic interest. I'm getting this person flirted, social media attention. This is someone who liked attention. They like to be acknowledged. They like to be seen in the public's eye. And so a lot of you guys, you were confused because it was kind of like, well, what are we doing? What are we working toward? What is our end goal, right? Six of Wands, what are we going to be working to to accomplish here. Eight of Wands, you wanted movement. You wanted change. You wanted this person to show up. You wanted this person to communicate. You wanted them to move things forward, right? But you were constantly in this cloudy energy, confused, nothing but fog and haze. You, you, you couldn't see a vision. You didn't know where this was going and you wanted forward movement, Eight of Wands. Wow. So tell me more about the flashlight. What are you guys, what is this flashlight about? Seven of Cups and the Devil. You guys didn't want to see it, okay? There's something here about you only seeing the good in this person. You only saw the good in this person. The Devil card is here. A lot of you guys, you wanted to hold on to this person as long as you could. But there's something about having to sort through the confusion. Finally get the clarity. Finally seeing the truth. Some of you guys, you found that your person was dealing with the other options. Seven of Cups. They had a lot of other, other people they were dealing with simultaneously talking to. And you didn't want to believe it. The devil is here. You guys did not want to believe it. This person, I'm getting a lot of you guys, there was some temptation. They could have had a karmic with this devil card. And some of you guys, you found out. You did an investigation and you found out this person was hiding quite a bit from you. It could be a Capricorn. So that is what I'm seeing. Let's get some more messages on the resistance card here. And I'm going to finish up with you guys soon. What is this person? Why is the resistance here? Ace of Swords and Verse and the Five of Wands. That Five of Wands is resistance. Holding back, pushing away. I'm not ready. So this person was in denial. It's not that they weren't ready for love. It's just that they felt, I can't do it. I can't be that person you need me to be. I've never done this before. I'm not used to this. Love doesn't come easy for me. I don't know how to love. That's what the problem was. Your person hasn't seen what real love was like. And so they pushed it away as soon as they got it. They felt like, oh no, I don't deserve this. So they resisted a good thing. And they were in denial that love really existed. So we have realization. What is your person realizing? Nine of swords and a ten of cups. They're realizing how miserable they are without you. They're realizing they could have had this ten of cups with you. Happiness, fulfillment, ha um, harmony, right? Family coming together. They could have had the ten of cups. And now they're in this energy of the nine of swords. I'm so stressed. I can't believe I did this. What is wrong with me? Hitting their head against the wall. Frustrations. Now they realize they could have had happiness with you. What is this action about? There's something here about this person wanting to take action. Why is the action card here? Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords. So now your person's got their self together. Not they got their life together. They're in a Nine of Pentacles. They are um, in this energy of feeling stable, grounded. Only, you know, I'm getting very single now. Some of you guys, your person is now single. They're not necessarily dealing with other people. Um, they may have broken ties with karmics now. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles is the energy of just thinking about themselves. And now they want to come to you with the truth. Now they want to take action towards you and clear the air. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Chris, Energy. Now they want to be honest. Now they want to be transparent, right? So now they want to take action toward you. Let's see what this dark and darkness is about. Some of you guys, they feel left in the dark by you. There's a lack of clarity on how to come towards you. Ten of Wands and the Star in the Verse. Yeah, a lot of you guys, they feel burdened because they've been in the dark for so long. A lot of you guys, you haven't communicated with this person in so long. And they're kind of like, well, is it too late? What do I do? I'm not sure what it's going to look like. I'm not sure how to reach out to my twin. I'm not so optimistic. Okay? I don't have faith in this. I don't have faith in myself. The Star in the Verse of this person, mm -mm, they feel as if, like, if they were to come in, you would reject them. You wouldn't give them a fair chance. Especially if you guys have moved on to new love. Especially if you have a new lover that's in your life right now. They're feeling burdened. They feel like, oh, my person's never going to allow me to come in. I look a hot mess. 
right? So let's finish off with some oracle cards for you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload these readings for you guys, okay? I also have a main channel called Serendipity Tarot where I do all the love readings for all the zodiacs. So check that channel out too. All right, so this is from the Spirit Animal Oracle. We have the Crow Spirit. It says co-create with spirit, okay? So a lot of you guys are being challenged to co-create, manifest what you want. Be clear about what you want, right? Creating is about manifesting, okay, with that Empress energy. Some of you guys, you are the Divine Feminine. Co-create. You have the ability to create, right? What do you want? Be very clear and make it happen, Spirit is um, definitely has your back in this. Spirit has got your back, okay? Because it says co-create with spirit. So use, use spirit to create what you want. We also have the swan spirit, time for a deeper dive. So a lot of you guys, um, definitely a lot of feminine energy here. It says take time, okay? Um, take time to really figure out what you want. And then when that time comes, when you know what you want, go ahead and dive into it. Full energy. Go ahead. Take that leap of faith. Jump into the unknown. Take a risk on life, right? Put yourself up for a challenge. So there may be something here that um, your person is wanting to do. Take that step towards you. But you're also having to take a step toward them. You both have to want this in order to come together in a reunion. If you guys want to reconcile, you're going to have to take that deep dive as well. And we have the bat spirit. It says a rebirth is assured. So this is confirmation that there is a rebirth happening. So if there was a death, there is a rebirth. There's a resurrection. There's a new beginning coming in. So you and your twin are separated right now, but something's coming back. This is going to come back alive. You just have to wait. There's some. There's something here about surrendering, right? The hangman, bat, bat is like hanging, like a hangman. You guys have to surrender to the process if it's meant for you it's gonna happen this person's already yours they're coming in but you have to believe and you have to do what's best for you in this moment okay so we have that bat spirit of rebirth is reassured let's get one more card parrot spirit it says watch your words so some of you guys okay if you are still communicating with your person be careful about what you say don't fill their ears with negative talk or tell them they're not good enough. Tell them how much you hate them because they're never going to come back. They're never going to want or be inspired to repair the connection. Others of you guys, when you wake up, listen to positive affirmations. Watch your words. Watch what you're feeding your soul, your mind, your body. If you know, Tell yourself how beautiful you are. Tell yourself that you're worthy, you're desirable, right? So watch your words, watch the words that you feed yourself, okay? All right, so that is what I'm seeing for my twins. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll hit you guys up with another reading very soon, okay? Just um, be sure to um, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload, okay? You guys will take care. Bye.